programming a Siemens Logo PLC, as a dyeing machine temperature controller. The Project Overview This temperature control system, is designed using a Siemens Logo PLC. And it has two modes of operation. 1. Auto 2. Manual In auto mode, the system can control the temperature, of a typical dyeing machine, based on a predefined time temperature table. In manual mode, an operator is allowed, to turn on, or off, any of two heat or cold, sources of energy relays, independently. The system hardware. Figure 1, displays the hardware, of the controller, which is consisted of the following parts. 1, the logo PLC. 2, the first I.O. expansion module. 3, the second I.O. expansion module. 4, the logo TDHMI module. 5, the PT100 temperature sensor. 6, UST200 universal signal transmitter. 7, the operator's panel. The system functionality. The system has two modes of operation. 1. Auto. 2. Manual. In auto mode, tapping on F1 button, the system controls the temperature, based on a predefined time temperature table, see figure 2, which is integrated, into its PLC control software program. Tapping on F2 button, the system, keeps the temperature of the container, at a constant temperature of, 80 degrees Celsius, See figure 3. In manual mode, an operator can turn on, or off, each of the hot, or cold relay, independently, and view the PV temperature value, on the HMI device. Today I would like to talk about a controller, a temperature controller which is built around a logo, Siemens logo PLC. As you see, this uh, temperature controller has a panel that by which we can start and stop the system and also we can uh, change the status to put it in uh, auto or manual uh, mode and when it is on manual mode, we can turn either hot water or cold water valve on and off. When it is on manual mode, we can turn the switch down to turn on uh, cold water and or we can switch it to hot water valve. In this case, uh, hot water valve is on and uh, the, the temperature is gonna go up continuously. As you see, this system has consisted of a logo, an expansion module, a transmitter, and also logo TD, which is displaying the PV and SV temperatures. I have also connected the sensor, PT100 sensor, to, a, to the transmitter, to the input of the transmitter and some water here and also in the uh, bottom there is a, a small electrical uh, oven and uh, by which I can turn uh, the temperature of water uh, increase the temperature simply to start the process we can uh, push the start button the light inside the button turns on. That means uh, uh, right now the system has started and backlight is on. And in this case, system is waiting for the operator to either push function one or function two. Function one is a, a process that heats up the temperature of the container uh, by, uh, by some 
steps uh, on the curve uh, and during that uh, uh, from step to step it tends to increase the temperature function 2 is a, a constant temperature uh, it takes about two hours and uh, it tries to keep the temperature of the uh, container uh, water in the container to 80 degrees centigrade when you push uh, F1 as you see right now it says that uh, temperature uh, sensor uh, uh, is sending to the system is 21 and uh, but set temperature set value is curve temperature is 25 so because uh, the temperature on uh, the sensor is lower than SV so it, it turns on the uh, hot water valve uh, right now and this LED indicator red one shows that the, the, the heater is turned on right now as time passes uh, the temperature is uh, gonna go up and then controller is gonna follow uh, whatever the uh, time temperature curve is uh, saying and uh, of course all this data is included in, in the program of the ladder logic program uh, which is downloaded to this uh, logo on the display logo TD you see that the time is about one minute pass and we are on auto mode and of course F1 function to come out of uh, to come out of uh, this uh, process we can push stop uh, the process button and then uh, uh, to return on the uh, system start the system and then here again this time uh, push uh, f2 function f2 function and this way uh, you're gonna see that uh, system is in auto but f2 mode and uh, and it, uh, the curve says that it has to be 80 degree but the uh, temperature on the sensor is reported as 22 centigrade degree and uh, so the outside the, the hot water valve is turned on and system is going to keep the temperature around 80 degree in, in liter by liter and when we as i said before uh, by putting the hammer switch down we can uh, go to auto to, to manual mode and in this case right now uh, cold water valve is turned on and because the the contactor uh, the, the relays this is a relay module so you hear the, the, the noise coming from on and off of the, the, the relay and when I, when I put the, the hammer switch up so the hot water valve is turned on all this information that i talked about uh, comes in the book and on an ebook so please to receive uh, some more information about the how the program is developed go to the website and check it out thanks for watching my video this title which is prepared in two chapters and 65 pages details the generation of code for the logo plc to control a temperature process in general all main control program solutions are prepared in lda language in this manual is written for siemens logo plc using logo soft comfort software but the ideas and program layouts are universal to any plc in addition, the schematic of all the hardware, used in this project, is provided and are fully explained. 
All control software, related to the project, comes with the purchase of the project ebook, and you will not need to develop, any extra PLC control program, for any part of the project. Chapter 1, explains the hardware part, of the temperature controller, consisted of the schematic diagrams, of how to input output devices can be hardwired, to a logo PLC hardwired, or to the logo expansion unit model, DM1624R. Chapter 2, explains the logo control software program, how does the PLC, calculates SV value, displaying texts on the logo TDHMI device, calculation of the slope of a straight line, and the formula and finally a description, of some special functions, related to logo PLC. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, then click subscribe, and like buttons below, and share it with your friends. Also, tell us your opinion on this video, in the comment section below.